go for a mission to the moon at this time. The second stage tanks now pressurizing and we're coming up on the power transfer. 50 seconds and counting. We have now switched to internal power satisfactorily on the batteries uh, of the first stage, the, all three stages of the second. 40 seconds and counting. Tom Stafford making a final check of his computer. Engines on five, four, three, two. Oh, here's Okay, just wanted to kind of walk you through the hardware we're using for our model rocket flight telemetry. Uh, picture's worth a thousand words, so a video's probably worth ten thousand. So here you can see the JEET node transmitter. It's in the nose cone, and right now I've got it hooked using the USB bub to the computer. Okay, it's the USB port, and then right next to it is the JEET link receiver. So right now I just wanted to show you, so we are connected to the computer. I have the, uh, I happen to know that uh, when I hook the JEET node to the computer is connected on COM5. So with COM5 selected, I hit the serial port and it's going to pop up and it resets the sketch on the, on the uh, JEET node and then it blips out uh, some information about what the sensors are on board and where the non-volatile memory is at. Um, there is the last flight is still in the non-volatile memory so if I type in uh, the command R and then enter that, that sends that uh, ASCII character byte to the microcontroller and it knows to play back the memory from the last flight and it's playing back the memory location the microsecond timestamp and the raw accelerometer and barometer readings as you can see the USB bulb is blinking an LED to indicate that it's transmitting uh, that data over the USB cable so the next step in this kind of chain of events here if we disconnect the computer from the JEET node and we will put it onto battery power and you see I've got flashes as soon as the light comes up so now we've lost communications on COM5 but if we switch over to serial port 4 which is what the JEET link is on I can now send the same type of commands via uh, the JEET link. And so we're going to select the serial monitor. And what you'll see is now I've set the JEET link up to strictly relay commands back and forth. So it's not broadcasting any information other than what it's receiving. So if I send the R, it's going to transmit that over the wireless to the JEET node and it's going to spill out the, the data from the last flight. So right now 
uh, the Jeet node is running on the battery, it's transmitting to the Jeet link, which is then transmitting uh, onto the serial bus. So the next step in this is to get it into a more usable graphic form. And to do that, we're going to go to Processing, which is a very similar software package based on the same things as Arduino is. And the sketch I've written uh, reads that data off the serial line and uh, graphically displays it and saves it to a CSV file. And so you see this graph pop up and with the same key commands, uh, in this case process is going to transfer the serial line which goes to the JEET link which goes to the JEET node. The JEET node will then broadcast the data back and round and round we go. So I'm going to hit R and you should see a graphical representation of the last flight we did. This one went about 110 feet in the air and the parachute came open and it came fairly gently down and hit the ground. Uh, the blue line is the accelerometer, the green line is the barometric pressure readings and there you can see the girls grabbed it and started running back towards me. Okay, and then that data is also saved uh, in a CSV file with a time date stamp. So that way he can actually come in and look at the raw data. There's the timestamp for the milliseconds as it was read on the cheat node, the raw acceleration readings, pressure readings. And then I'm converting that into G's and feet. And then I made an attempt to convert the change in uh, pressure to a speed, but the, the variations and the small time steps make that a uh, fairly erroneous calculation unless the rocket's moving fairly fast. So we are still working on that. And so that's it from here. Thanks for watching. And counting. We have now switched to internal power satisfactorily on the batteries uh, of the first stage, the, all three stages of the set. 40 seconds and counting. Tom Stafford making a final check of his computer. The vehicle, uh, all uh, stages pressurized at this time. We're waiting for the swing arms to come back. One uh, should be coming back at this time, a second one at 17 seconds.